Hi, welcome to Twink Graphics. Uh, my name is Hafsted Thorosson and uh, I'm a graphic designer. In this video, I want to teach you how to remove a background from an image inside of Adobe Illustrator. Knowing how to cut out uh, things or removing the background is, uh, yeah, I would say a must have skill uh, if you want to have your designs uh, looking professional and clean. So whether you are making graphics for a website or for example a presentation or you just want to have fun with your photos then knowing how to remove the background is super handy. So what you will learn in this video is how to cut out photos in Adobe Illustrator using precise selection and path tools. How to use the pan tool to trace and modify the parts of the image you want to keep and how to separate them clearly from unwanted background. Okay, so let's create a new document inside of Illustrator. And you just go to new file. <clears throat> what I usually do is I go to the web templates and I choose 1080p here and RGB. And yeah, this is okay. And we've got a new document. And then we want to import the photo we're going to use. And because I don't have a stock photo and uh, I don't want to copy an image from the internet uh, because of copyright issues, I just uh, created an image inside of uh, ChatGPT. And uh, yeah, of course, people have mixed opinions about using AI create art, but uh, for me, it's totally fine uh, if you use it correctly. Um, so. It created this image here, which I kind of like. Uh, I'm a, yeah, I'm a fan of sci-fi, so why not create some cool soldier for this video? So what you're gonna do is uh, you wanna go up here and choose the pen tool, and <clears throat> you wanna start by uh, creating a starting point. So I'm just gonna do it here, and then you're gonna you know make points around your uh, source photo and what you can do when you lay down your points or yeah tangent points uh, you can hold the mouse button and drag and then you can see these tangents come outside of the point and so you can you know control like a smoother line uh, doesn't take a long time to get a hold of this you just try it out uh, if you don't want the tangent points you just click and lay down these points as you can see it creates a fill uh, alongside the stroke so I don't want the fill uh, it makes it difficult to see what I'm doing so I'm just gonna turn that off here by going here so we just have the stroke here so just gonna continue doing this all around um, it can be a little bit time consuming but with time you get faster So if you create a mistake, uh, then don't worry, it's easy. You just stop what you're doing and you hit Control and C if you're on Windows or Command and C on, uh, on a Mac. So if I wanna go back here, yeah, then just go back and start over. And if you want to quickly uh, zoom out to see the, you know, see all the picture, uh, you can just hit Control and Zero, and then you can see your progress. Uh, so I'm just gonna zoom in again. Yeah, if you 
really want to zoom in quickly, the shortcut on Windows is uh, Control and Spacebar and hitting the mouse button. And if you want to zoom out, then you just add the Alt key. Now I've finished uh, creating the path around the image I want to cut out. So what we're going to do now is we are going to select the path or the mask. As you can see, this is where we want the image to be shown. Uh, we can just turn off the stroke now and this mask has to be on top of the image you want to cut out. So you choose both the image and the mask and you right click. You select make clipping mask. And as you can see now we have the image isolated from the background. And for example if I want to create some kind of graphic now. gonna select red so now we can put this behind so you can see that it's the background is removed yeah so a good uh, way of uh, organizing your elements is to put them on layers and if you don't have the layers palette open you can go up to window and go down here there where it says layers and here's the layers palette. I'm going to drag it here next to the artboard. And then I'm going to go down here or you can also go here and do new layer. Uh, I'm just going to name this uh, sci-fi cop or soldier. And then I'm going to choose my uh, element. And over here you can see like a box in this case it's blue and I'm gonna click the box and drag it over to my new layer and as you can see now if I turn off the layer only my soldier is uh, uh, not visible so in this case I can like lock the layer and if I drag over now I'm only choosing the element that is behind and one more thing if uh, I'm going to show you what you can do is to select or I can't select it now because it's locked so I'm going to unlock the layer. So I'm going to select the layer and go up here to effect and stylize and feather and you can play around with this. You can try like 10 pixels and that feathers the, the border a little bit as you can see. So if that's something you like, you can try that. I'm not going to use it for this artwork, so I'm going to do undo. Uh, and I'm just going to finish this uh, artwork, put a little bit of graphics uh, and maybe a little bit of typography. And then I'm going to show you how to save it.
Okay, so I was just making a uh, make-believe uh, ad for a cybersecurity company. Uh, I just want to finish the artwork because uh, because of this tutorial. So I'm gonna save this now. Um, I usually just save this as an Illustrator file. You can also save this as a PDF or Illustrator EPS, but I would recommend uh, to have the work file as an Adobe Illustrator. And uh, yeah, just gonna save this. And uh, yeah, I just save this as Illustrator 2020. Um, I check this, create PDF compatible file. And yeah, just leave it at is, as is. So yeah, this was the tutorial how to remove a background in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.